hi YouTube fam. It's your girl, uh, look your nurse, uh, Raquel. Um, I'm back to do a haul, y'all. Yes, another haul. <sighs> I made it for almost a whole week without buying any makeup. But yesterday was my first day off and I had to go back and take back that foundation. Y'all remember that foundation? Um, what was it? The Lancome that I picked up in my Ulta haul? That was too dark, but I had never even looked at it. Well, um, that's why I started at. I went to Ulta first, and then I just kind of ran in Sephora real quick to take back that Fenty foundation because it's it's just it just was not for me. I tried it for three days in a row, and um, it just didn't work for me. I know a lot of y'all people out there love it, hype it, but it's just my nose it wouldn't stay on. I go in the bathroom, say around one or two, and and it was like no foundation nowhere on my nose. I, I don't know. I even went back and bought the primer because I had bought a Becca primer. Uh, and then I went back and bought the Becca Apricot primer. It's a moisturizer, as oily as I am, and it just still just slid off my face. I don't know. And then I went back and bought Rihanna's primer, but that's just me. For all you out there that love it and swear by it. I'm not going to tell nobody to go out there and buy it. I said, go get you a sample, girl, and see how it worked for you. Because that shit didn't work for me. Okay, now let's get on to this haul. So, anyway, uh, I went to Walmart first. It was the first place I went because Yosha needed some dog food. My dog was out. My baby was out of food. So, I got his food. And then, um, y'all know, you cannot pass the little beauty section. For some reason out here in Texas they just got it sectioned off. I've never seen that. You have to kind of like go inside and it's cool because you don't have to worry about dealing with all those people looking for other stuff and looking for this. It's just in one little section and you can check out right there. So on my way in there I saw this Dr. Teal's avocado oil, super moisture avocado oil and I love their bath soaps. So I want to try this uh, foaming bubble bath. Because I still got a lot of my Bath and Body Work ones, but I know I love Dr. Till's uh, Epsom salt soaking. And they had a new one in coconut. So I picked these two up. But I really can't wait to try this bubble bath. And I can always throw some of that smell good from Bath and Body Works in there to make it smell good. Because that's the only benefit I see. I don't get the moisturizer from there. <coughs> and um, I also picked up this old... Philip's Milk of Mag because all the primers I've tried here lately and y'all don't know the half with that Rihanna foundation I was going through with some primers because I tried it for four days in a row and the only I couldn't use my matte primers that I know work like that Tarte um, I can't think of the name of the one that's in a jar that primer really works for me because it was for a dry skin so I was trying to find moisturizing primers but in the process, this really works. And I just stopped buying it because I was on a try to find something that works that's makeup. You know, I went through that Kane and Austin, which is okay, but it looks like it puts a little more oil. And it does kind of fill your pores, but not, not that tart is the best thing to me right now. I can't think of the name of it, but it's in the jar. Anyway, and then y'all, I saw this while I was over there. Fresh Outlast Cooling White Strawberry Mint. This Olay. Okay, I got excited about soap. <sighs> okay, y'all know that haul on that uh, Sephora. I mean, what was that? Bath and Body Works haul. I bought so much soap that I really was just using Alvin's, one of my friends, uh, bath soap because I had so much sour soap. Shower soap. Shower soap that I was just using his, and when I saw Olay had came out with this new strawberry bath, I got so excited because I like Olay uh, shower gel in their soaps because they smell so good and they lather. Oh my god! Oh, this smells just like that strawberry on the damn picture. I'm not lying. I just had to get this. I want to do it look like that. Yes, I'm opening soap. Y'all talk about me tomorrow, okay? <laughs> what does it look like that? Cause oh, it's just pink. I like it. It smells so good. 
Okay, okay. Let me move on. That soap smells good. I had to get that. I had to get that. It's it's got a cool touch to it. I wonder why. Okay, let me move on. Fresh Outlast Cooling White Strawberry. It's got something in it that it got to be cool on the skin. I'm about to go take a shower so I can see. Okay, let me get on into the the beauty stuff. Beauty stuff. I picked up this uh also uh Jamaican Mango and Lime Black Castor Oil. I keep hearing a lot of benefits to the use of black castor oil, so but I've never really tried it, so I just I just picked up one. I think I bought some a while ago, and I was putting it in that creamy crack for your hair, but I I never used it just on my hair, and I'm going so good, thank you Lord, with my natural hair. Oh, and my nails, y'all see them? That's my second pack. You remember I had bought two? Y'all, I really love these nails. I have grown addicted. I did go to the nail shop yesterday too, but I went for a pedicure not to get them my thirty dollars on those shellac nails. These nails five ninety nine, six dollars or something to that effect. I actually racked up. Oh wait, let me stop. Somebody gonna ask what's on my lips and I'm gonna tell you right now. This is that Ciate London liquid velvet that came in this month's Sephora play box. Here I'll swatch it right here. I like it. It's matte, but it's not so matte that it's sticking in my lips. It's just a really soft matte. And it's a pretty red, but I still put Night Moth Midded with it to kind of calm it down. And I like it. I do. I like it. Um, okay. Moving right along. What I was finna say, I dropped stuff, y'all. Okay. What I was about to tell you guys. Is, oh wait, let me tell you about this. I picked up uh, some of those liquid cat suits. Uh, maybe I thought I picked up two, but I guess I only got one. I thought I picked up two of them. We'll go to this. I know I'm kind of jumping around, and I apologize for that. But yeah, let me share this with you guys. These been out for a minute, and I never tried them, but I saw them yesterday. And I said, well, I thought I bought two of them, but I got so many lipsticks. Oh, my God. So many. I need to go through them and, and just trash some because I have so many. Some of them I just opened and was in a haul and probably went and bought something else and never used it. Oh, that's a pretty red. Look at that. Hmm. Mega Liquid Cat Let Last. Hmm. Okay. What color is this? Oh, I just broke it. Something in Fierce. I'm going to swatch it right now. Oh, they're so... Oh, my goodness. Can y'all believe that? They're exactly alike. This here is the Ciate London. On this side. Well, this is a little bit redder. Over here, this is the Mega Outlast. Uh, it's number 93B, Missy and Fierce. How ironic. That's weird. Wow. <laughs> I'm just floored that they came that close to each other. And look at the bottles. Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to stay on it. Moving right along. I also purchased, I uh, thought I got two of these. I guess I'm tripping. Maybe I need to hold on, y'all, and go look in the bag. I'll, I'll be right back. I want to make sure. I am so happy I stopped that video. These, <laughs> see, it's a couple of bags still uh, downstairs, but there, it. I didn't. What's I, bad enough? I'm showing y'all soap to wash your ass with. It had dishwashing liquid, uh, Tide pods. I mean, game pods. You know that kind of stuff. But I guess. <laughs> I don't know. These kids nowadays just packaging your stuff. They don't put nothing with nothing. It's just spread it out everywhere. And I'm sitting here thinking, I thought I got two of this. And I could swear I chose this color and this color. and But it's not in the bag. So after I came to that next product, I felt like, okay, wait a minute. Something's up here. Because my obsession with makeup alone would not just let me allow me to buy one product. So anyway, y'all, this I found the next two Maybelline cat suits. This was the first one, uh, in Missy and Fierce. This well, I dropped it. Y'all saw that. 
And then the next one I got is a uh, Flame of the Game. That's what it looks like. And let me put this down. And I'll swatch it right next to that uh something in fierce. Oh, that's pretty. Now that is a pretty orange. Y'all, it look orange, orange come up in your face. Let me back up. You see that? It's a brown girl friendly orange. It's got kind of like I want to say brownish undertones. I like that. Okay. I like the way they met too. Not as much as the CRT London. It's not sticky. It transfers to CRT London, but it's not. Hmm. Well. Both of them. I can't tell. I got so much stuff on my fingers where they transfer. But the last one I got here is a uh, Mega Last Liquid Cat. So what did I say? Uh, Video Vixen. Fall, y'all. Fall. Fall. <laughs> It's fall time. Oh, that's pretty. Let me swatch it right there. Oh, yes, that's pretty. It's almost like a dark purple black. Let me back up. Now, if I get closer, y'all can see that purplish in there. Yeah. They still sticky. I was just texting the dry, but I think I like these cat suits. Okay. And then I picked up two. Are these Maybelline? Is this? I don't know if this. I think this is Wet and Wild cat suit. I kept saying Maybelline. I think this is Wet and Wild. Yeah, Wet and Wild. These are Wet and Wild cat suits. I'm sorry, y'all. What made me realize that? Cause I went to L'Oreal first, and I picked up these infall infallible paints. This is what they look like. This is one of them. What color is this? Uh, Smoldering Eclipse. These are metallic lip paints. Wow, the doe foot on there is really funny. That's how it's made. And I'll swatch that one right there. Hmm, it's, it's metallic, but it's not like in your face too metallic to wear. You can, I can get away with that. I really like this one right here. But yeah, this is the L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, metallic lip paints that's smoldering eclipse number 334 and then this one is um, liquid venom number 336 well you already know what it looks like let me swatch it right next to the other one I'll let you see it on here too going for these fall shades See how it's metallic, but it's not just glowy, all in your face glowy? Yeah. Now, to what I was going to tell you about my nails. I am in love with these nails, y'all. Yeah, I'm in love with these nails. Um, so, of course, I had to pick up some more of these nails. And I'm just telling you, they're saving me a, 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 a lot of money. From $30 from getting manicures to just buying these. And they last me at least two weeks. I mean, you can't beat it. And they had so many beautiful designs. Um, look at these. Two weeks. And it's two uses in here. So that's a month. If you want to go to the same lashes, or you can, I mean, same nails, or you can switch up and go to some new nails. Man, this is, this is a deal. And then I saw two different kinds that I wanted to try. Oh, wait, let me show you the last one that I got this kiss. Um, it's these right here. Yeah, I got those because they reflect and change. And then it's coming Halloween. I thought they were cute, but they really are green. Yeah. And then I got two pair of a different type. I don't know how these going to work. I don't know about this. One step gel. No glue needed. Padded super hold. I don't know. But the designs on these are really cute. They're supposed to have some kind of thing that you just press them on and they'll stick. I don't know about that, but we'll see. And this is what made me get those. I thought that the polish on those were really cute. I'm just addicted to these press on nails now. 
And the last thing I got while I was in Walmart was this new Lala Fox uh, foundation. Stay all day cushion. I got this in honey bronze. There's the cushion. It just says La La Fox on the front. And then, oh, there's a mirror in there, but it's a crappy mirror. Could be because it has that plastic coating over it. And that's the foundation. I'm just going to put some on here and put on the. Oh, no, this is going to have to go back. <laughs> oh, no. That's what you get for always trying stuff, Raquel. It probably could work as a highlight. Maybe I'll use a highlight. I think it was like $9.99 or something like that. I, I don't know. But I think it'll work as a highlight under my foundation. I'm going to play with it. You know, I don't really like to take stuff back. But I will be playing with it to see what it does because I also picked up the moisture I mean the uh, air primer Lala Fox air primer I'm knowing that this is a new makeup brand but look here Lala black folk by makeup too this here is the darkest shade really this um what did I say honey bronze yeah bronze and who see it's kind of drying yeah Maybe I'll just uh, keep it as a, pass it on as a Christmas gift. And that's the primer. Oh, it feels just like a lotion and it smells like lotion. That's the dot. And then it just spread out like a lotion. Hmm. Huh. That may be a waste. Oh, wow. But it dries super matte. I might mix this with something. And it ain't coming off. Okay. Alright. Maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe it has some darker shades. I didn't see any. And I thought that honey was like a brown. But I don't know. I'm liking that. I'm going to have to check that out again. I'll go back. Okay. And then I bought two uh, Revlon Youth FX uh, Fair Blur Concealer. Oh. This is something totally different. Revlon FX now see that's what I was saying earlier I bought this concealer and I went with the darkest shade and it says deep that's what it looks like and for the price this better be deep and it, it has a push up here it's a uh, feels and feel blur and conceal You have to push it up to get, you know, this little... There it is. Now, I don't like how to use that. Y'all see it coming up? Okay. Now, this is the darkest shade in deep. That's deep. I'm just going to... Put it right there now it might work as a highlight it just might work as a highlight we'll see I'll give it a go I'll give it a go but I like the way it feels I don't like that push-up applicator though and it's a lot in there I'm just still trying to get off all that before I put the top back on it I don't like that yeah I probably can use it as a highlight and put my powder on top that dark uh Laura Mercier powder this video is gonna be long y'all because I just talked so damn much look at them outlast and this these are makeup wipes and it's still there okay I'm really wow <laughs> it's still there I'm, I'm just tired of wasting time <laughs> with this video. Alright, I see you in a while. I see you. Okay, y'all. And then, of course, I went to Sephora because I had to take the Fendi foundation back. 
and they just that's why I just put on the gift card because y'all I'm not gonna lie to myself or you guys anymore I'm I am a makeup addicted I just love makeup I have more than I ever need Lord forgive me but it's just what I do now anyway I put this on the reason with that being said I said that because I had them put the Fenty foundation I kept everything else I just took the foundation back the money for the foundation on a card so I could purchase the things that I have in my cart like the new Kat Von D palette that just came out yeah I did that last night so I will have a Sephora haul and sorry I lied to you guys but I tried give me an E for effort oh I forgot to tell y'all about this wet and wild concealer hmm yeah everybody's seen this this is just in a uh, medium peach Mojang peach yeah let me swatch it just in case you haven't seen it. I mean corrector. I said concealer, but it's a peach corrector. Yeah, I don't know. Let me back up. It's really peach, but it's a light peach. It's for lightening and brightening. It works with that punch that uh the one I have in the 399. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. But the reason I got this is because I wanted to mix it with that Kevin Aquan um, concealer to thin it out and lighten it up because I got mine too dark and I didn't want to take it back. So now on to back to Sephora. Like I said. And with that being said, they put the card in this and then I was like, oh wow. They'll make me start bringing stuff back more often. And they gave me this really cute, ain't it cute? What it is is a two-way mirror. And it says Sephora on the back. Yeah, I know that was just too cute. I was like, well, thank y'all. It's like, we're sorry you didn't like it, but here you go. And it was in this cute little Sephora thing. That was really cute. Okay, and of course... Like I said, I'm an online Sephora shop. I don't like shopping in store, but since this was at the right at the checkout, when you get ready to check out, it says Glam Glow um, Youth Mud. What is it? Flash Brightening Treatment. That's what it is. Hollywood, California. Uh, okay. Let me get this open. I'll probably use it tonight. So. I'll go ahead and let you guys see what it looks like. Hmm, smells good. That's what it looks like. And I've tried a lot of these masks, and I just came to the realization after three of them, um, they're not really worth the $70. But I did pick up this little bitty one just to try it. I've never tried the orange one. Okay, keep it moving. And then that's when I went into uh, Ulta, which is where I headed out initially to go sorry this video is long y'all I just can't help it but in Ulta I picked up this Tarte palette for all these loose shadows that I'm getting in my boxes and that I have and I thought this was purse size cute I'm going to get one of those Sephora bigger ones for just say makeup room but it has a big mirror there and then I'm pretty sure what 369 shadows will fit in here and it can be interchangeable to, you know, pop in my purse and take with me if I need to. And yeah, that's just a Tarchis Pro on, on the prowl. That's what it's called. <laughs> that's cute. And that's really pretty. And then, of course, y'all already know I had to get this. I had to get this. I have every Urban Decay palette naked series that came out. But somehow I missed the smoke. And when I saw that it was $23, man, I had to get it. I mean $27, almost like $27. And I had $20 off of my purchase, too, from, I guess, stuff that I've spent. Oh, this is a really pretty, just natural palette. Just natural colors. It's not really what I would call smoke. But those are the shadows. And it has a mirror here on top. And it has a brush in there. A regular Urban Decay blender brush. But I like these shadows. This should be not... I guess these colors here make it smoked. 
but to me this is more news but I guess because you can smoke out the news this is why but why it's $27 I guess it's going away and not coming back and this is a plastic container versus the tin and uh yeah I'm glad I picked this up um this video is so long y'all now this crap here I should even waste time to show you guys but yeah it was just like on the for sale half off and when I opened it it was so through out of there just dried up won't even come off on my hand but it was like two dollars two something stretch stretch and length mascara but it's just it's dried all out but I like the small brush so I'm gonna keep it because you can get right there I'm gonna keep I'm not even mad and take it back I'm I, all of them maybe like that probably why I was on sale so cheap and it doesn't even have a, a brand name on it but I'm gonna use this small brush in my bigger uh, mascaras that I do like to use under my under eye um, the next thing I picked up is this Becca uh, velvet blurring primer perfective base and this is an apricot let's see I'll put it on this arm this is what it oops that's what it looks like it's a peach undertone I'm telling y'all to conceal these spots and dots it's a real doesn't have a smell but it's real peach and it evens out skin tone as well as primes and again that's in peach and that's the velvet blurring primer perfecting base and again this shade is in apricot I'm running out of trash, but uh, oh yeah, I picked up two of NYX's new uh, shadows. They were like $29 a piece, but they were on sale for $20, $20 something. And I wanted Fire. Fire is out, and Fire has our YouTube girl. What's her name on here? The real light skinned girl. The one that was into it with um. What is that? I cannot think of her name. But you know she was doing all those videos for those makeup Julia's place and they shit it on her. Y'all remember that? Okay, her. I can't think of her name. But one of, it has her picture on the display. One of them does, but it's not fire. Uh, I think it's the natural neutral palette. And it's really neutral and it's really fair skin, which suits her skin tone, but just not for me. The one I want is the fire. Check it out, y'all. It was sold out. And what I have is metal and water. And I think hers is earth. And the one I want is fire. I'm going to get that fire. I want it so bad. But I wanted to get it while they're on sale for $20. Because I don't think I'll pay $29 for these tiny palettes. And let me show y'all the metal one first. It comes with 12 shades. The palette is just beautiful. It is so pretty. I might just go ahead and order it online. Because once it goes off sale, I probably won't be able to get that sale again. Need it has a huge mirror, huge mirror right here. But let me let y'all see the shades. Yeah, that's metal. Those are the shades. If y'all want swatches, I'll do swatches and just post a short video with swatches. As this video is so long, I'm not gonna do that to y'all now. And this is the water one. And it has 12 shades. I think I better go ahead and order that fire because I know it's not going to last. It is beautiful. It has a gorgeous red hair. And I do mean gorgeous, y'all. This is the water. This is what it looks like. These palettes are just beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to order that fire when I get off of here talking to y'all. And that's what it looks like. That's water. Aren't those beautiful? Those shades are just beautiful. And again, it does have a huge mirror right down there. Well, I'll pull the box up. But yeah, same as I do swatches on both together if you guys so choose. Or I just may wait and post them with fire 
when I get it because when I'm done with this video I'm ordering it and the last two things in here is I picked up me a it brush because I love these it cosmetic brushes and this was at the checkout counter Face brush brushes yeah airbrush finish face brush they do too much with all this yeah and it's just a foundation brush and like I said it was at the counter it was tempting I have so many brushes why did I get this hell I don't know I, I don't know I don't know uh, I also picked up, this is what I went back for, was to take back that foundation, but I didn't get another one of those Lancome foundations. This new Dermablend Flawless Creator foundation, and this is drops. You're supposed to be able to mix it in with your foundations. Um, Multi-use liquid pigments. That's what it is. Powerful makeup, blendable, buildable, and customizable. Um, where am I? Benefits. Oil free, lightweight, evens and smooth skins. Used with dermally blend setting power for a 16 hour smudge proof transfer resistance wear. Skin types it off on me again. But anyway, it's multiple use and it says shape well. And you can mix this, like I said, with other foundations or you can wear it on your own. I think I'm going to do a review or a first impression guys with this with that uh cover girl bb cream over there this is what it looks like it's really lightweight hmm. and it's supposed to be buildable blendable it got rid of that really light foundation and mine is in uh hmm what shade did i get 50 W. I could have swore it had a name. This is the second to the darkest. And all it says is 50W. Even on the box it says 50W. So, yeah. That's the actual shade. The light is kind of making it look, you know, not seeable. And then the very last thing I picked up is I've been wanting to get this but I've been saying no 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 because I have too many did I say it again too many powders that I've just recently ordered I gotta stop this but I've been wanting this for a while so I went ahead and picked it up and it's this uh, Becca golden hour soft light blurring powder I was on the fence, off the fence, on the fence, off the fence. If not only for the beautiful packaging alone, I had to get this. I just had to get it. It was I was between this and that new purple one. The only thing that stopped me from getting the purple is it was sold out. So I wasn't like it's gonna be in my Sephora haul. Or maybe I'll just put ooh. I had to put that on top of that foundation. Oh, that's a really, really thin powder. That's the foundation I had on my hand. And that powder is gone. Oh, it's so thin. And it feel like, oh, a baby booty. Just smooth. Okay. All right. I'm going to get to play with this. And I will let you guys know. But if that is not the sexiest packaging that I have seen in a minute... Wow, soft light blurring powder, the golden hour. I can't wait to use this. I cannot wait to use this, and I will let you guys know. All right, talk to you later. This video is long enough. Y'all have a blessed day the rest of the week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Sorry it was so long. I just talk so much. I love it. Y'all, I did not show y'all my bedroom oriental black hair dye, did I? Because I changed my mind and it was too damn shame because I'm done. It's great tonight. <laughs> Bye, y'all.